Xbox Series X new kernel exploit collateral damage released online. A new Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S and Xbox One system OS kernel exploit called collateral damage was released online today, giving users total control over the system OS virtual machine to do things normally not possible in retail mode. The collateral damage exploit, which was developed by Emma Kirkpatrick and Lander Brandt, targets systems running kernel versions 25398.4478. 25398.4908 and 25398.4909 and uses the game script UWP application. As explained by one of the exploits developers on X, Twitter, this isn't a jailbreak, as System OS is the virtual machine where apps run, which is the same environment users get control over when enabling dev mode. As such, the exploit doesn't allow piracy but essentially gives users full control of system OS without dev mode. Being the first release, the collateral damage Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S exploit is not fully reliable, as it relies on a CPU side channel as well as race conditions, which can fail. In case they do fail, the console will simply crash and reboot. T, so there should not be any danger of breaking a system. Additionally, the exploit is best used offline for obvious reasons. Even without this exploit, which could definitely lead to some interesting developments, the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S were already homebrew friendly systems thanks to dev mode. Multiple emulators for older gaming systems can already run on the systems, and some recent developments may lead to Microsoft's current generation systems emulating PlayStation 3 games even before the PlayStation 5.